And now for the next match, we have Angel Feather taking on Gear Chronicle. Rin Hashima versus Chrono Shindo. The match that never happened for good fucking reason. <laughs> no, that would have been the most salt induced match ever. <laughs> on both sides. That would have been enough salt for a movie theater. <laughs> And now Overdrive is doing this very correctly. Although now the Vanguard can't hit without a trigger. Just because of a trigger. And that is not a trigger. It is however a Chrono Jet Dragon so good things can come out of that. CL shenanigans again. Damage makes me stronger. That's a lot of grade threes in hand. I honestly really do hope that Overdrive understands how many card how many cards out of what's currently in um, Misaki's hand are grade three. Cause out of the seven card hand I count at least two grade threes, if not three. That's significant. I don't understand. Okay, so he's going for GG already. Oh, GG is about to time leap. I'm glad that Skype skipped your GG pun. This is actually... This is actually oh, a huh. good move. Because when that attacks, he'll be able to time leap Chrono Dran and get more shenanigans. Speaking of shenanigans... I'm no one a minute. I'm lagging. Critical trigger. Oh god, you're deeply lagging. I know. So at the end of all this, we're going to get a lot of cards back into the... Jesus Christ. Misaki used all of her counter blast, but... That hand. There's a Lifros in that hand, I can tell. I mean, we have no way to know that. Gut feeling.
So now we have no CL doing a stride, bringing out no CL. Calls out Pegasus and probably a no CL. <laughs> nope, we get broken heart. Now here's a mistake that could come back to haunt um, Overdrive. Turiel is still on the field. Why is Turiel still on the field? I just noticed that. Because when he put a card to the bottom of the deck, he decided to choose one of the gray threes. Well, there goes some criticals. And now we're just going to put those back. That that never happened. Oh, no, we're only putting one back. We want unflipped damage. The only positive I can take from all this is the fact that there's not a hell of a lot that Misaki can theoretically do with all of this. Yeah. But theory and practice are very different for Angel Feathers and Vanguard in general, really. So without a critical, this won't end the game even if all the attacks hit. With that said, if there's any chance of being able to guard it, Overdraw should probably take that chance and guard it. Well, we have Illumium. And there was a critical trigger. He might be able to try the next stage for game. Or better to say that's the best thing he can try to do. I just realized that critical is called Paradox Cannon. Paradox Paradox. Cannon Draco Kid. So it actually shoots you with a paradox. I think we all deserve to take a moment to understand how badass it is that there is just something that can shoot you with a paradox. Hmm. So now Overdrive understands he needs to end it this turn and has to figure out how he's going to end it this turn. And the odds of him ending it this turn actually are not very high. Did he use the grade 1 to unflip a damage after he did a... Uh... Yes, he did do that after doing Chrono Jet. Well, now we have GG in the hand. Discard three. There we go.
we couldn't chrono Shindo this day. I would attack a rear now. Yeah, I was gonna say that attack a rear. Cause if a va if he hits the vanguard and, and an OCL falls in damage, that's a problem. Well, more than that, actually. The rear guards at this point are a win condition for Misaki. Even without stride. And here comes Life Rose Loops. Because everyone's got to have this for breakfast, apparently. Oh, shit. Um. This is happening. No Seal tends to do that. So yeah, this is fair. This is the no-seal deck. This is not even close to fair. On the plus side, if Overdrive somehow, some way lives through all this... One to pass, stand trigger. Stand and crit. That's, that's the norm. Yeah. Good games. Now it's my turn. <laughs>